What do you do when a river cuts through a city? You build a bridge. Maybe one, maybe more, depending on ambition and necessity. But in China, where pushing the limits of engineering is the norm, they took a different approach. Instead of building over the river, they decided to go under it. In Jinan, the capital of Shandong province, a revolutionary tunnel project has redefined infrastructure. Jinan is no ordinary city. It's home to 9.4 million people and a thriving $90 billion economy, ranking among China's top 20 urban centers. Known for its steel mills, chemical plants, and high-tech innovation zones, Jinan is a powerhouse of industry and education. Its universities are ranked 35th worldwide for scientific research, attracting talent and investment from across China and beyond. Private businesses have also poured billions of dollars into the city, making it a critical hub for economic development. But Jinan had one issue, the mighty Yellow River, often called China's Mother River. While 15 bridges already spanned its waters, they were no longer enough. The city's rapid expansion and growing population meant increased traffic congestion and longer travel times. Simply adding another bridge wouldn't be enough to solve the problem. Instead, authorities envisioned a more ambitious project, a tunnel beneath the riverbed, something that had never been attempted at this scale before. The plan was groundbreaking in every sense. Unlike typical river tunnels, which are often much smaller in diameter, Jinan's tunnel would require a record-breaking 56-foot wide bore, making it the largest underwater highway tunnel in the world. The scale and complexity of this engineering feat immediately attracted global attention, as few projects of this magnitude had ever been undertaken. Construction began on September 1, 2024, with a tight timeline and immense logistical challenges. Engineers had to navigate unstable riverbed sediments, high groundwater pressure, and seismic risks, all while ensuring the tunnel remained structurally sound for decades to come. The tunnel wouldn't just be big, it would have to be exceptionally strong, waterproof, and capable of withstanding extreme geological forces. The project is a testament to China's growing expertise in megaprojects. With cutting-edge tunneling technology, meticulous planning, and a highly skilled workforce, Jinan's underwater passage is set to redefine how cities tackle transportation challenges. Construction of the nearly four-mile-long tunnel beneath the Yellow River began on September 1, 2024, and immediately captured global attention. The reason? Engineers planned a tunnel with an unprecedented diameter of 56 feet, making it the largest tunnel of its kind in the world. This extraordinary size set the project apart from other famous underwater tunnels. For comparison, the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, one of the longest tunnels in the world, is much longer but has rail tunnels that are only 25 feet wide. In contrast, Jinan's tunnel would dwarf such tunnels, offering a completely different scale of engineering innovation. The size of the tunnel posed unique challenges, especially due to the immense water pressure and the unstable geological conditions of the riverbed. To ensure the tunnel's durability and resilience, engineers had to incorporate state-of-the-art technology and design elements. Over 1,600 protective ring segments were installed along the tunnel's length to safeguard it from collapse and ensure the structural integrity of the passage. These rings act as a shield, distributing the immense pressure and mitigating the risks posed by the shifting geology beneath the river. Moreover, to accommodate the high volume of daily travelers, the tunnel features a revolutionary two-tier design with a total of six lanes. Vehicles traveling in one direction use the upper level, which is 18 feet high, while traffic in the opposite direction flows through the lower level, which is 15 feet high. This design allows for efficient use of space and ensures that traffic moves smoothly. With vehicles reaching speeds of up to 37 miles per hour, the entire journey through the tunnel will take only a few minutes, transforming transportation across the city and drastically improving connectivity. The catch? A toll fee will be in place for the next 25 years to recover the massive investment. But the benefits outweigh the costs. This tunnel alone will handle 7.4% of all river crossings, significantly easing congestion for Jinan's 9 million residents. Perhaps the most astonishing part of the project is the timeline. The underwater portion of the tunnel was completed in just 110 days, a new world record. The secret? Cutting-edge German technology. 
Heronicht, a renowned tunneling company, supplied the project with a specialized tunnel boring machine, TBM, named Chanha, designed to handle high groundwater pressure and unpredictable geology. This machine could dig through rock and sediment at speeds of 52 to 59 feet per day. It featured a 7,510 horsepower cutterhead drive and an automatic pressure control system, ensuring safety and efficiency. At full power, Shanha could excavate 1,400 feet of tunnel in a single month, an extraordinary feat for such a large diameter project. The cost of such machinery? A staggering $80 million per unit. China's obsession with pushing engineering boundaries isn't new. Before Jinan's tunnel, another record-breaking underground project reshaped transportation, this time in Hong Kong. Back in the 1990s, Hong Kong's international airport was relocated to an artificial island. To connect it with the city's northwest, China turned to Heronek once again. The result? A tunnel boring machine even larger than Jinan's, McShield S-880, with a 57.7-foot diameter, surpassing Seattle's famous Bertha. Construction began in 2013, but digging only started in 2015. At its peak, McShield S-880 excavated 101 feet per day, completing twin three-mile-long tunnels by 2019. However, engineers faced a unique challenge, worker safety. Since the tunnels were over 164 feet below sea level, maintenance crews couldn't simply enter and exit freely. Instead, they lived in pressurized chambers, similar to deep-sea divers, and were transported underground in sealed shuttles. Their shifts lasted six hours, after which they had to slowly decompress to avoid sickness. The final segment of the Hong Kong Tunnel opened to traffic on December 27, 2020, dramatically improving airport accessibility. At the heart of the operation was a custom-built tunnel boring machine, TBM, named Chanha, supplied by the German company Heronicht, a world leader in tunnel construction technology. Unlike traditional drilling methods, TBMs like Shanha can cut through various ground conditions with unmatched precision. Shanha was specifically designed for Jinan's unique geological challenges, including high groundwater pressure and shifting sediment layers beneath the Yellow River. This advanced machine could excavate at speeds of 52 to 59 feet per day, making it one of the fastest machines of its size ever used. It featured a 7,510 horsepower cutterhead drive, allowing it to drill through tough materials effortlessly, while an automatic pressure control system ensured safety. At its peak, Shanha could dig 1,400 feet of tunnel per month, significantly reducing the overall project timeline. 